Um, I'm here to rant about the uh, product that I saw on, on YouTube <clears throat> earlier. Uh, it was called Flex Belt. I saw it just before I did my my recording of the progress of my Quest 2 abs, and I was like, "Well, that's you know, that's pretty cool." No, it, it looks ridiculous. Who in the right mind would use that? I I probably would if I was given given one for free. Just just saying. But uh, it's stupid. Uh, wasn't that already invented? Like I don't know, like 2002. With that one belt you put on on your stomach, and like you have a little remote, you put the settings on, and and it's like, yeah, you change settings to make your abs kind of just flex and unflex, and kind of dim stimulate them, and to make them sweat. It's like obviously like it's a really generic commercial, and so the person's like, I use this belt all the time, and I lost five pounds in six days. Anyways, those belts are obviously fake. They don't work. If they do work. All they would be doing is uh, just strengthening your muscle because it would be all we're doing is was passing electronic pulses through your muscle, or how they they put it is electronic vibration pulses, plasma ray diverging ab flexing devices. Like they they use such big words that they don't even know. They just use the words just because it sounds good on the commercial. But for the flex belt, uh, there's so many people just like on the commercial. They're just like saying it works perfectly good. But, on the commercial, they just look ridiculous because the lady's like, she puts it on, and I simply press the button here, and it works perfectly. And all you see is her is just normal laps, and she flexes. Normal laps, she flexes. Normal laps, she flexes. Flex, flex. Like it's just weird pulsating. She just whole whole body moves forward too. You, you can see either it works, and it makes your abs really flex hard, or she's doing it on purpose. It could work. I'm saying it probably works because it, it's electricity that moves in your muscle and stimulates them. I'm not, I'm not huge on science, and if I do like science, but the one thing in science I don't like is electricity. I hate electric electrical science. That's why I'm not doing electrical engineering in university. So, uh, anyways, a, a commercial's ridiculous. Uh, it's it just relates to like how people would are so lazy these days. Everyone's just lazy. People who buy that product are probably the ones who go to McDonald's every day, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, fast food every day, just eating junk food and chips, sitting in front of the TV, eating pop, or drinking pop. You don't eat pop, unless you want to eat, eat the can. Just put the can, eat I don't know how it works. I'm, I'm busy. I'm doing a little... You get a new phone? Hey? Get a new phone? What's going on? I thought you were going with her the whole time. She's gone. I'm, I'm doing recording. Just, jeez. Get out. Yeah, okay. Um... That was my sister, by the way. She's getting a new phone because she lost her phone at the beach. Um, uh, where was I? That was a big distraction. Oh, commercial. Yeah. Eating, eating Coke cans. That's probably not a thing I'd recommend doing. Anyways, uh, they probably sit back and drink Diet Coke, you know, like just all the synthetic food, man-made food, just try and get, they just get really fat, and then they just get an app belt. Just to like, just I don't know how to explain it. They just, they're just, they just want everything as quick as possible. They just want to do whatever they want, eat man-made food. You know, I doubt people that have a healthy diet and exercise daily will buy this thing because they already have likely a nice-looking stomach in their in, in like the ideal stomach that what magazines say. You know, but I don't I don't recommend it that much, really. Like, just eat healthy, have a good diet, or have a good exercise plan. Just that's that's it. Just do that. That's healthy. Where you walk around with a giant fat legs and fat arms and just a skinny abdomen, if it actually works that way, <laughs> no, it looks stupid as hell. Um, yeah, it's like people just they just get really fat and then liposuction. Like, like what the hell is that? Really, who would I don't know who would do that? I guess maybe movie stars. Uh, that one sexy chick has has her own kind of uh, oh, what's it called sex tape. Uh, Kim Kardashian, yeah. I think she does that all the time. Oh, what the fuck with that? You just gain weight and then liposuction it away and then get implants, gain weight, suction the fat away. Like, gain, like it's just, what the fuck? Just get a healthy diet, exercise good. You don't need liposuction, all this weird plastic surgery and stuff. That's just, I don't know. I'm totally against it, in my opinion. It's, it could be, you know, everyone else has their own opinion, so. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of ads out there like are just ridiculous. Like you, you don't even know if it's real anymore. Like it just looks so stupid and funny. You don't even know if it's real. Legit. Uh, an example would be the shake weight. You know, you know shake weight, right? Ah, oh, my triceps. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, triceps. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, triceps. Oh yeah. It looks like you're jerking someone off. Yeah. That shake weight is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, the ad is is just awful, and I, I doubt it works. I just I, I watched some reviews on it, and people say it's garbage, and I don't feel like sitting there uh, shaking a weight in front, in front of my face. <laughs> no, I don't feel like doing that. But another one, which I genuinely thought was fake, unlike the shake weight, which kind of looks legit. And for a minute there, I was actually gonna buy it because it's oh my god, it looks super easy, and you can shake it and then get muscles. But I doubt it works. <laughs> but uh. A genuine thing I th no thing thing that I th genuinely thought thought was fake was the uh, lipo band stomach thing. It's uh you think you put on your stomach. It's like a light. It's like a like a valve closer that you put on your stomach hose cable thing that goes down into your stomach. You put a little uh, device that closes it or makes it smaller. I thought it was fake. I literally like I saw it back when I was probably like I don't know twelve, but. The commercial was, it looks fake. The person is like sitting in the, in the kitchen, and then it's just like, yeah, I lost about five hundred, I lost about 300 pounds with my lipo band. And like, some like, some crazy weight number, of like, not 300 pounds, but like, like 209, 230 pounds maybe, I don't know. But the numbers sounded fake. And then on the fridge, there's a picture of her on the, fr why, why the hell on the fridge? Why don't you put a fat picture of you on the fridge, of just her face, really, really like, just like Photoshop, like fat, just really, really fat. I'm talking like you want you want to grab it and shake it like off Billy Madison and that little fat kid. Good movie, but if you want to shake the, fa the 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 fat face. I don't know why. It's just it's a weird fetish, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> fat face shaking, but it looked totally fake, and I legit thought in my head, oh, that's obviously fake. Who put a, a light pole? Band in her stomach to, to close the stomach off. And I was just like, "What the hell? This is this totally fake?" I thought it was. So I was like, you know, like a funny commercial. But I found out, legit, found out uh, about a month ago that it's real. A month ago, I found out. It's been about I don't know five years since I saw a commercial, and five years of thinking that commercial was fake. Wow, that's that's that surprises even me. I don't know why, but. That is a dumb advertisement. So yeah, like it's just all the synthetic weird just stuff to just make life easy, like make everything easier. If people want the easiest way possible, like me, <laughs> I'm a hypocrite, you know, I'm a huge hypocrite. Taking fat burners and stuff, you know. <laughs> but it actually works. Um, like on TV, you know, some things work on TV, like P90X, my, my buddy, who recommended uh, Rip Freak and Test Freak uses uses P90X and says it's the craziest stuff he's ever tried. It's like the ab workouts times ten. So I'm actually might buy it because he even recommended it. You know, like that kind of stuff. You know, P90X is like a legit commercial though. The commercials are amazing. The YouTube marketing is smart. Unlike Flex Belt, which is ridiculously stupid. And you can tell each video has tons of dislikes. But like some okay another another, another tangent here. But uh, some some companies. Use YouTube to market, right? Sometimes it's a bad idea to market on YouTube because some people I don't like it. They they have tons and tons of bad words in the comments and tons of dislikes. They just, they just totally run the company down into the garbage, you know? Because people are like, oh, I might buy this flex belt, like, and then you go to YouTube and watch the video and say there's there's like ten thousand dislikes and you, you only see a sliver of green, a tiny sliver of green green in the bar, and they're like, no, I don't buy it anymore. It looks ridiculous. So, in a way, yes, I am at home. What was I saying? God, I always get, I'm like ADHD kid, attention deficit high definition disorder. It's a, it's a new thing. It's 1080p ADHD or ADD, what do you want to call it, whatever. Um, yeah, so the, the lesson of the story is, is, do it legit. Good, good diet, good exercise. But I'm a hypocrite, so 
In my words, I would say good diet, good exercise, sort of good exercise, sort of good ex good, good diet, but I have a good diet, and fat burners. That's it. Three things to live by if you want to lose fat. And if you want to die of heart disease, or not heart disease, because it's probably not disease of your heart, it's not cholesterol. Um, if you want to die from a heart attack or heart heart um what the fuck do you call it? Heart dysfunctioning, heart heart explosions. So if you want to be like be like me and lose a pound a day, more than a pound a day, but eventually die from your heart exploding on your chest, or have Chuck Norris come up to you and tear it out of your chest like it did in, in some Hong Kong street fight on top of a, a skyscraper once. True story, you heard it once from somebody I know. Um, if you want that to happen to you, then take fat burners, take Rip Freak. It feels safe to me. Don't take a Fedron unless you're hardcore to the bone. And peace out.